LEGO's January 2024 wave is looking to be one of the best ever, but instead of talking about all of the things I do want today, I'm going to give you a rundown of what I definitely will not be buying. I am super excited about so many of the new sets that are coming out, and there are definitely quite a few things on my wish list, whereas the last couple of months, I feel like it hasn't been too exciting in terms of things that I can realistically see myself buying. So since most of the winter lineup, besides a couple of DLCs here and there, has been revealed, I thought I would go through everything that I will not be purchasing this coming winter wave. So Starting off, we have a little turbo round because there's a lot of themes and a lot of sets that I just don't buy from in general. Starting off, we have Friends. I think Friends 2023's Winter Wave was way better than this January wave. I still think it's good, but I'm not as wowed and I feel like there are way better sets from other themes out there. We've also got City. I think there was a lot of really cool City sets. Shout out to the bumper cars. I really like these, but I just like have no reason to really go out and buy them. Um, we also have Minecraft. There's not really a single set that stands out to me there. And with Technic, I, this planet set is so cool. Moving on to our first one, we have the Monkey Kid 5th Anniversary Megapropolis, Mega, Mega, Megapolis. That's what I wrote down. I think this looks absolutely gorgeous. And I remember I thought the same thing about the City of Lanterns when it came out. And the last couple of months, especially since this new one's been revealed, I've been tossing and turning. Like, oh, do I go back and buy them? Do I buy the City of Lanterns? Do I buy this one? Do I buy both of them? And I just keep debating it for ages and ages and ages. And I kind of thought that it reminded me of like San Francisco from Big Hero 6. I bet come very close to buying both of these sets. I love this kind of like sub theme of like a monkey kid builds. I think they are fantastic. However, I'm just trying to be a lot more restrictive when it comes to what I'm buying from Lego because it takes up a lot of space and it's expensive. You know, I'm just trying to help myself by not buying all of the things that I think are really cool. Next up, we have the Chinese New Year family reunion, beautiful tradition set. This building is gorgeous. I love the look of this set. Now, I've said this before, I have gotten caught out with Chinese New Year builds multiple times. Every single time I'm like, mm, I don't need it. And then I go and buy it. And then I would regret it later and sell it. And this is a building where I can definitely see that happening, but I love the exterior of it. I would love to get more buildings in this kind of scale as well as the design. Like I love how it's not a modular, but it kind of like, there's like a little street, like you could connect a ton of these buildings together and it would be gorgeous. Also just the vibe and the color scheme. This set is so pretty. Now in 2024, we are getting a much anticipated and much requested theme called Lego Animal Crossing. Now this was announced months ago and honestly, I felt like it was announced a little too early. Like we've had photos a little too early. We've had box art a little too early. Like everything just seems like super rushed that often I forget that it's even coming out. And only since I've been clicking like the coming soon tab on lego.com have I remembered that Animal Crossing is a thing. And look, don't get me wrong. I love Animal Crossing. I was one of the people that bought it and played it religiously religiously in March of 2020. Have I touched my island in ages? No, it's probably covered in weeds. However, I really, really enjoyed it, but I was super disappointed, honestly, when I saw Animal Crossing get revealed. There was a lot of things I liked about it. I loved how bright and colorful it was. I loved the minifigures. But the thing I hated about it most is that it combined that same like Mario kind of core structure system in order to connect them all. And I hated that. That was the reason I don't like Mario. I don't like the Mario sets that are like that. So this to me just does not appeal. I also feel like the buildings are just like so flat and two dimensional. I get what they're going for, but I just feel like a little bit let down to be honest. So I do not plan on buying majority of the wave. I think I'm gonna buy like one of the houses and the little poly bag. But the one that disappointed me the most was Nook's Cranny. I really wanted to get Nook's Cranny. It's like so iconic in Animal Crossing. I wanted a little Tom Nook. Will I probably buy him? Yes. In terms of the set, it's just disappointing. Like I'm really excited to see the rest of the villages, but definitely not. I'm not buying this set. Like this just seems like firstly a waste of money to me. Like the price tag is just a little bit too high. Secondly, just that whole connecting system. I feel like if I bought it, I would be disappointed with what I actually got for the price that I paid. And I just, I'm not touching that. There is a part of me that thinks there will be some steep discounts on a couple of these sets. So, you know, maybe hold off if you're interested. The next one I wanted to talk about is the roses from the botanical collection. I'm a big fan of the Lego flowers. The orchid so far has been my absolute favorite. I think it's gorgeous. I love what Lego is doing. I think it is fantastic. I think it is such a good thing for just Lego as a brand. But there's just something about these roses that throws me off. Now I was dumb enough to get 12 dozen of like the original roses, not 12 dozen, a dozen. I got a dozen roses. I got 12 roses. That's a dozen. I have those. That being said, I get why they're doing a bunch of roses. I get why they're doing a dozen. And I love the fact that they made 
it more of a bouquet by adding these smaller little white roses in. I think that's stunning, but there's just something about the way that the roses look. I don't like it. I don't think I could have done any better, but there's just something about it. I'm not a fan. Next up is the only, I guess, like controversial one on this list that I really wanted to talk about. And that's when it comes to just Lego Star Wars. Now, why on earth are we only doing two sets from Lego Star Wars? And one of them is a four plus set and the other is a battle pack in a January wave. I don't like that. I am really in the mood for like a new Star Wars set and something new to add to my collection, but I'm not buying either of these. This battle pack, I'm not a fan of. I don't mind buying those like more expensive army builder sets or super battle packs or whatever you want to call them, but I'm just not totally drawn to this. And I think there's one main reason to that, and that is because I bought so many of the phase one clone packs. Like Australia ended up getting tons of them during its like yearly lifespan. And then I bought the Grandpa Clone Customs replica helmets so I could just swap out their helmets. So to me, I've already got my phase two army. I'm set, I'm sorted. I'd love to get some super battle droids, like don't get me wrong in that regard. And of course some more shock troopers. That being said, I have convinced myself though that the shock troopers are gonna come out in like one of those paper packs that they sell in Europe, just like the 212th was. To me, I don't really have a lot of value in this battle pack. There's been a small part of me that's kind of debated buying it day one and then like selling all the stuff I don't want from it, like the battle droids, the phase twos, and then just like keeping the super battle droids and a shock trooper and the droid builds. But at the same time, I'm like, oh, I don't know if that's like a good value for money or not. Like I could just wait for this to go on sale, but I'm really not fussed about this set. Now let's talk about Lego Marvel. Now, obviously, Lego Marvel has not been very prominent on my channel in the last like year and a half and that's because it's just disappointing me and this year's Lego Marvel wave is also disappointing. Buildable Rocket a little bit creepy. The Spider-Man mask I like it but there's something off about it so I'm not buying that either. Rocket Ship this set I don't like this at all. All of the Spider-Man sets and stuff like they look cool the only one I'm going to be buying is that Spider-Man set because I I'm a sucker for Spider-Man and the fact that it could connect with the other one, that's the only thing that sold me. I was not planning on buying that set. I was just gonna buy the lizard. I was like, I can live without Sandman, but they connect. So I have to buy it now. I'm just gonna wait for it to be on sale. Like I'm not buying that day one, but I will be buying that. Oh my God, I completely forgot to talk about the X-Men jet. Can we talk about that for a second? I really like the ship's design. I think it's really cool. The price is atrocious though. And I hate that comic book design of Magneto. It looks awful in my opinion. I just want it for Rogue and Cyclops. And I don't wanna buy the jet at that price just for Rogue and Cyclops. I'm gonna be holding out. I think it's really good. And I'm really excited at the fact of more X-Men sets and just like sets that are aren't MCU based to be completely honest. So I want to buy it to support it for that reason, but not at that price. Absolutely not. Now, next up, I want to talk about Lego Mario because firstly, this little Yoshi set is adorable and it's super cheap. So that is going in my cart alongside one Animal Crossing set. And then I'm going to have like a cute little, little Lego display um, alongside my Nintendo Switch. That's the idea I have in my head. And that's why I'm buying both of those sets. And one that I'm also debating getting is Bowser's car. When this set got revealed, I was really excited. I was blown away. I was like, this looks really fun. And the price point too seems pretty reasonable in my opinion. Now, the only reason I'm debating it is because it's a Mario Kart set. Like that's what it is. And I love Mario Kart. Would I ever play as Bowser? No. I mean, look, if this goes on sale, I will probably get it. However, I, because of the fact that it's not totally Mario Kart and the fact that it's Bowser, if it was like Daisy or something, like absolutely, I would be buying that day one. I'm gonna say that it's a no. I have nothing against that set though. I think that is one of the best sets that Lego is releasing in like January. I think it's fantastic. Speaking of one of the best sets from the wave, the Retro Roller Skate. Create a three-in-one. The designers were cooking. This entire wave is absolute fire. I have not one negative comment currently at least about the creator three in one wave. I think it's fantastic. I'm absolutely buying that film camera day one. The one that pissed me off was the retro roller skate. I was so ready to buy this day one, maybe not day one, maybe 20% off, but you know, you get the vibe. And then I saw the price of it. I was like, you're kidding me. I could spend $50 on this Australian or I could buy the Star Wars Battle Pack for the same price, or I could buy Bowser's car. That just seems atrocious to me. Now, granted, I only really want it for the pink wheels. I'm just gonna buy those off bricks and pieces. They could be $5 a wheel for all I care, but I would rather pay that and just get the wheels than pay $50 for this whole set. This is just, just disgusting. I don't know why it's priced that much. It's very cute. 
don't get me wrong, nothing bad to say about the set's design, but the price I want to throw up at it. Absolutely not. And then lastly, going back to the just thought I'm going to buy it on sale is the Ariel Castle set. Now I have some very strong opinions on this. Firstly, I am so angry that they just kind of threw that Ariel mini doll in there. Like the whole micro Disney castle series now just feels so disjointed. We had the castle with minifigure Mickey. We had the haunted mansion with a minifigure. Then we had the Sultan's palace, which was so overpriced, did not come with the Sultan. And it was branded under the Disney princess line. And it just kind of felt like the odd one out. And now we have this set, which has just has like Ariel thrown in there. It's also branded under Disney princess. Now I'm under the strong impression that they saw the Sultan's palace and they saw the feedback and everyone was like, hey, where's the minifigure? And then they just threw this Ariel in last minute because in another Disney princess set, Ariel has a brand new hairpiece. So to me, two and two ain't adding up. And this makes me so frustrated because I am love The Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid is one of my favorite movies. Ariel specifically is my favorite Disney princess. And also like, why couldn't they put Flounder and Sebastian in there as well? Like all the little molds are there. Honestly, I would have rather them too than this like random Ariel mini doll just thrown in there. It makes me so mad. But all of the other mini castles have gone on sale. So I anticipate this one to go on sale too. I'm just gonna wait it out. I'm gonna buy this because I'm stupid. I just want them to put a little bit extra care in. Also, while we're here, can we please get a Beauty and the Beast castle lego and like make that a little micro scale and then include a beast minifigure notice i said minifigure i get that these are disney princess but for consistency sake please don't do this to me. But yeah, January has a fantastic lineup. I am so excited to see these sets. I'm so excited to build something. I'm gonna have a very small January first haul. Honestly, from just like, I guess the entirety of like the winter wave, it's gonna be so minor on my end. And let this be a reminder as well. You don't need to buy things day one. But let me know what you're planning on picking up and not picking up on January 1st. I know if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel down below. And until next time, I'll see you later.